Keeps control for Thompson. Pass receivings wide open underneath in a basket. Great pass. Backs down, now kicks out up top to the left side, Caden Dahl. Dahl hesitates, then takes the three and knocks it home good. Dahl to get the turn. Car key, trying to keep those legs underneath, then uh, Kazek gets him down and there's the pin. Rebounded by Kendra Severson. Severson, here comes Bevins back the other way. Bevins, little contact, roll it in good for Elena Bevins, and we're tied. Threw in Zeller with an excuse me bump, and here goes Semp for takeoff. Alston Telephone Company and RJ Broadcasting Incorporated is proud to present to you this broadcast on yourliveevent.com. And a pleasant good Monday evening inside the Shields Center. This is our final game of the day in the Region 1 Boys Basketball Quarterfinals featuring the Valley City Highlanders and the Lisbon Broncos. Welcome to our pregame show brought to you in part by IRA Insurance. Get the insurance protection you want with a customer service that you deserve. Go to IRAinsurance.com to get a free quote started today. The three seed of the Valley City Highlanders against the six seed of the Lisbon Broncos. In the regular season, these two teams split the regular season series. Lisbon won 66 to 64 in Valley City on January the 2nd, and Valley City won at Lisbon 68 to 53 back on February the first. The Lisbon Broncos, nine wins and 12 losses on this season. They're two and two in their last four games, including a win over Oak Grove a week ago tonight in Lisbon, 63 to 46. Well, for the Valley City Highlanders, they're 10 and 10 on this season. They've won four straight, then they've lost three straight, including a loss at Kindred, 78 to 59 a week ago today. We'll take a quick break and we come back on our pregame show, brought to you in part by Irie Insurance. Get to our keys to victory. Play your small shout for it. Keep you apprised of other games across the way, all on your live Event.com. Since its beginning, the Central Cass Booster Club has generated and helped sustain fan interest in the men's and women's athletic programs at Central Cass High School. Through the years, that mission has brought in to also enhance the youth programs throughout the community. For more information, search Central Cast Booster Club on Facebook or email Central Cast Booster Club at gmail.com. That's Central Cast Booster Club at gmail.com. Go Squirrels! We've got your back. Protecting homes, vehicles, businesses, crops, personal protections, and so much more. Our service agents answer the phone with a kind of speed and detail that even the Secret Service would envy. Get protected. Get Irie Insurance. Go to irieinsurance.com for a free quote and consultation. Dakota Heritage Bank is a bank on the go and on the grow with locations in Hunter, Hope, Galesburg, Hillsboro, Grandin, Gackle, Streeter, Judd, Harvey, Medina, and Red Lake Falls. More locations and more services. Dakota Heritage Bank offers mobile banking and online banking with bill pay so you can bank anytime, anywhere. Stop in and visit Dakota Heritage Bank today. Sharing our heritage, sharing our future. DHBankND.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We finally switched to streaming TV, and we saved big without losing out on our favorites. I was worried that we, or I, was going to miss out on college and pro sports. But the truth is, you don't need cable to watch sports. And with streaming, everyone wins. Wife still gets her favorite shows. The kids get the best movies. And as a family, we get to watch our favorite team. I mean, my favorite team. Cut cable and switch to streaming services to watch exactly what you're paying for. ReadyTech Fiber, a greater experience. As we continue on our pregame show here today, brought to you in part by Irie Insurance. Get the insurance protection you want with the customer service that you deserve. Go online to irieinsurance.com again to get a free quote started today. For the Lisbon Broncos and the Valley City Highlanders. Some of the players to watch out for in, here in this one. Jaden Bittner, the 5'9 senior guard, but also Cameron Cordero has a good rip through from right to left, able to get to the paint, do a lot of little things here for the Lisbon Broncos, but a matchup here will be on the interior tonight as well, trying to stop the Talon Larson and Zach Sakura combination. Valley City, three players in double digits with Carson Eggert, a 6'4 senior forward, Bryson Heck, 
the 6'3 junior, both averaging 13 points per game. Zakora at 12 points, and Larson, the 6'6 senior, at 7 points and a 5 rebounds. The Valley City Islanders, game number 21 on the season, averaging 62 points per game, defensively giving up 57, while for the Lisbon Broncos, averaging 57 points per game, while defensively giving up 59. Take a look at other scores from across the way, out in Region 2 again, Thompson over Hillsboro Central Valley. That one went final as the Thompson Tommies are making their way to the semifinals. And then just about Late in the first half, Devils Lake all over Carrington. It's 57-19 late in the first half as the Devils Lake Firebirds will go on and move on to the semifinals upcoming tomorrow night as they will go up against Four Winds Minnewaukee. So again, those are some of your scores from across the way. Out West, Stanley, South Prairie, Max and Alex, Burlington all pick up wins in Region 3. Kildeer, Shiloh Christian with wins in Region 4 with Shiloh uh, with Beulah earning the bye into the semifinals. This is our pregame show brought to you in part by Irie Insurance. We come back after this with our keys to victory on your liveevent.com. Welcome to the Empire. We have open gym times and two full courts with six basketball hoops. Court rentals are available. You can even host your own tournaments. Memberships are available. The Emperor's Club. Hone your skills and improve your game. Basketball and volleyball training classes are available now. The Empire, Fargo's newest sports complex. Ahead of schedule, the 620 has landed. The new versatile 620 tractor is now on the lot at Ziegler Ag Equipment Highway 9 North Ada. Talk to Chuck and wheel and deal. This is at 2023 pricing, big discounts, huge savings. Make your purchase now. Save thousands of dollars on the new versatile 620 tractor. It's on the lot at Ziegler Ag Equipment. You can check it out today. Ziegler Ag Equipment, Highway 9 North Ada. Get the deal done on this new versatile 620. As we come back, let's get to our keys to victory here today. And this one brought to you in part by Dakota Bank. Plan for the future, build your net worth, and protect your family at Dakota Bank. They provide services from banking, insurance, mortgage, and wealth management. To find a location near you, go to dakotabank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, trust and insured, not FDIC insured. And there's really no one team wants to get up and run. The other team wants to just play a, a rock 'em, sock 'em, grind it out kind of a game. Valley City averaging 62 defensively, giving up 58. Lisbon averaging 57 while defensively giving up 59 points per contest here in this one. Valley City may be a little more size on the floor than what the Lisbon Broncos have. So it goes back to what a lot of coach speak will say during this time of the year. But quite frankly, it's true. Second chance opportunities, win the rebound, and minimize turnovers. Those are the main things. But then from Lisbon, who are you going to kind of take away from the big three from Valley City with Agert? Heck, and Sakor, if he can minimize one to maybe six, five points, the others really don't go off. Well, for Valley City, it's the same thing. Jordan and Janie Bittner can be stat stuffers with a Cameron Cordero as well. Lincoln and Air just find ways to get 10 points and 10 rebounds in a game. So who are you going to minimize from the Jim McDonald point of view and a Jason Kunze point of view? Both teams will get up and run when presenting itself. The main thing is the main thing once it gets to this time of the year. Rebound, minimize turnovers best as best you can. And then for both teams, for someone other than maybe their big two or big three to beat you once it gets to this time of this season. Again, those are our keys to victory brought to you in part by Dakota Bank. Go to dakotabank.com. That's D-A-C-O-T-A-H bank.com to find a branch near you. We're going to come back with a starting lineup and the opening tip around the corner here from the Shield Center. It's the Broncos and the Highliners on your live event.com. Saturday, April 6th, Vikings from across the land will converge to feast and celebrate the athletes and their achievements. Vikings will raise their swords, ride their mighty steeds, bid on treasures, gems, and experiences, with the focus on supporting the kids. Join the tradition, forged in friendship and molded in the spirit of family. Viking pride. Mission Court Independent Living at Benedictine Living Community offers independent living, giving you a comfortable lifestyle and freedom to do what you like while leaving chores behind. 
The monthly rent includes housekeeping, three daily meals, transportation, social and recreational programs, plus spiritual care and on-site worship services. Call 218-784-5250 to learn more and schedule a tour. And you can save $1,000 with our move-in special, Benedictine Living Community of Ada, recognized for quality care. Meet Blake, the messiest four-year-old on the planet. He's no ordinary durability tester. Meet Smart Strand, no ordinary carpet. With all pet protection, it's the softest, most durable, easiest to clean carpet on the planet. When Blake's barn got a comfy makeover, Smart Strand came clean, even went up against a two-ton rhino. Made to withstand all walks of life. Ask for Smart Strand, rhino tested, rhino approved. Available at Carpet World, carpetworldfargo.com. In Hope, North Dakota, we aren't just a town, we're a community, one that you can be proud of, where you and your family can grow. With available jobs, affordable housing, a golf course and pool, the Sportsman Club and great educational opportunities. There hasn't been a better time to join the Hope community, ideally located between Fargo, Grand Forks and Jamestown. For more information, go to www.hopend.com. Live, work and play in Hope, North Dakota. That does it for our pregame show, brought to you in part by Irie Insurance. Go to irieinsurance.com to get a free quote started today as we take a look at the starting lineups, brought to you in part by the Empire Sports Complex. The Lisbon Broncos clad in their red uniforms with gold Lisbon across the front with the white numerals. They'll go like this, Jaden Bittner, a 5'9'' senior. You also have Lincoln Adair, a 6'1'' junior. Cameron Cordero, the 5'8'' sophomore. Elliot Welter, the 6'2 junior stretch guard, and then Jordan Bittner, the 5'11 sophomore. Again, for the Lisbon Broncos, they'll go like this. Jaden Bittner with Adair Cordero, Welter, and Jordan Bittner. Lisbon head coach by Jason Kunze, the number six seed here in this region tournament. Nine and 12 on the season, three and eight in region one. We turn our attention now towards the Valley City Highlanders bench as the Valley City Highlanders on this season head coached by Jim McDaniel with a mark of 10 wins and 10 losses and six and six in region one play. The Valley City Highlanders will roll like this. Carson Eggert, the 6'4 senior guard, averaging 13 points with Bryson Heck, the 6'3 junior in the backcourt. A forward of Carver Peterson, Peterson, the 6'4 senior forward, you have Zach Sakura, a 6'2 senior forward as well, and Talon Larson, the 6'6 senior center. Eggert, Heck, Peterson, Sakura, and Larson, Valley City averaging 62 points per game while defensively giving up 58 in their white uniforms with the Columbia and Navy blue. Valley City across the front with the Columbia blue outlined with the navy blue here in this one. That is our starting lineup brought to you in part by the Empire Sports Complex. It's time to unleash your inner athlete at Fargo's Empire Sports Complex. From open gym sessions to personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can find it all, all at the Empire Sports Complex. Get your sports, sports journey started today at empirefargo.org. Our officials, Adam Grant, Todd Rowe, and Logan Finkston. As Logan Finkston will put this one in the center circle at 743 on a Monday night. I'm Chase Miller alongside Joey Hughes, and welcome to the final game of the Division A Region 1 Boys Quarterfinals, and the opening tip is underway, and it's won eventually by the Lisbon Broncos. Elliot Welter will rip it through here as Lisbon will bring in the front court here with Jaden Bittner. Bittner left of the key, that's Cameron. Cordero finds it now to Lincoln as Cameron gets the ball right back on this man pressure defense. Bittner left in inside, that's Jaden, leaves it left of the key. Three-pointer for Bittner, got it to go. Jordan Bittner, the younger brother with the triple and scoring first on a Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard on the Lisbon Broncos. Valley City, Zach Sakura, back to the right-hand side to Bryson Heck, looking for the reversal now to Sakura. Sakura will utilize it here, left and inside to Heck. Heck back up top as they work at right wing as this will go to Peterson. Back to Heck at the top of the key. Heck with a jab step, he wants the answer three, got it to go. Bryson Heck with his 50th three-pointer of the season, and we're knotted at three. Both teams come out swinging here in the opening 50 seconds. Lincoln Adair taking a dribble now. This one will go to Bittner, driving kick to Jaden. Jaden Bittner to the short corner, leaves it to Lincoln. Adair with a hard dribble, shot fake, got his man up in the air, off the window, can't go. Rebound tapped out eventually. This will be towards the second row behind us, and it will be Lisbon basketball. So Lisbon will utilize it here as they will handle it. 
on the inbounds as this one will go to the top of the key. Cordero, a little hesitation. Cordero driving kick as that will go right-handed side now to Jaden Bittner. Bittner, hard dribble right to the paint. Jaden, block shot. Lincoln will come up with it, though. Adair now to Cordero. College range, rainbow three off the front iron and a board and another offensive possession here, as we mentioned, to our keys to victory. Second chance opportunities, and the Broncos are hitting the offensive window early. Elliott Welter, right-handed side, Lisbon, who utilize it now to Jordan Bittner, up top to Cordero. Cordero probing, spinning, looking, find a teammate to Welter. Welter driving, kick to Bittner. Shot clock to 13 seconds now with Lincoln Adair. Adair to Cordero, right to the key, three-pointer on the way, got it to go. Cameron Cordero makes it a six to three lead here for the Lisbon Broncos. And second chance points, and the Broncos just kept on coming. Highliners, Heck wants another three, and why not? Bryson Heck got it to go. Back-to-back -back threes for Bryson. Time of possession is all in favor of Lisbon if we are playing football, but it is a 6-6 contest right now. Left-handed side is Welter. Welter slips it now to Adair. Adair making its way around the horn to Bittner. He'll rise, he'll shoot. That one off the iron rebound on the interior to Carver-Peterson. Other side of the floor, Valley City wants to run. Heck leaves it, top of the key to Peterson. Peterson inside the paint, can't get the shooter's roll. Rebound tapped here to Elliott Welter. And the Lisbon Broncos will work it with it the other side of the floor. Tied at six early on on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard. Share their heritage and their future with locations in North Dakota and Minnesota. Go to dhbanknd.com. Adair on the inside, right short corner. Kick Cordero, right pocket three, off. Rebound comes down to Valley City. Tapped out to Peterson. Carver Peterson here in the front court. Peterson to Heck as they work it around the horn. Back to Heck, top of the key, wants another one. Three-pointer long, rebound though, right to a highliner for and Carson Angert, a 65% free throw shooter, will go to the line to shoot two. Foul will be assessed on Jordan Bittner. First foul of the game for either club, and we're knotted at six with 4.51 remaining here in the first quarter. The broadcast in this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. Highliners take their first lead of the game. Second free throw attempt on the way for the 6'4 senior. Rattling out, rebound, tossed for, eventually won by Lincoln Adair. Other side of the floor. Ball goes left-handed side now to Cordero. Cameron, couple hard dribbles, driving kick. Bittner, this is Jordan rising, three-pointer off the iron. Rebound comes down to Peterson, his third. Harvard Peterson, left-handed side is Sakura. Sakura to the baseline here. Ball gets skipped. Bounce pass on the interior for Larson. Larson off the window, can't get it to go. Rebound here to the Lisbon Broncos. Good board by Welter. Broncos up the other side of the floor, finds a teammate. That goes Jordan Bittner. Bittner left wing, back up top as that'll go to Cameron. Cordero with an ankle cross, able to get it to the inside for two to Welter. Nice little cranial rock there by Cordero, able to get by his defender, and the Broncos lead it by one. Back up top, and there's nearly a turnover with it. Highliners left in inside of Peterson. Peterson to the left wing to Egger, now right hand inside of Sakura as they go to the baseline to Heck. Heck goes right short corner to Talon Larson looking for a teammate. Finds one of Sakura off the window, can't go. And a board tapped out to Jaden Bittner. Bittner the other side. This one is off of which number three? And it will be off of the Highliner number three here of Agert as him and Adair were chasing for that ball up the far side. And officials again will talk it over here of Adam Grant and Todd Rowe to make sure they got it to go. During that, taking a quick water break is Carver Peterson quickly. Up and down Temple. Both teams settling in nicely early here in the opening four and a half minutes. Cordero, right-handed side to Bittner. That's Jordan. Jordan Bittner saw this one out of play off of Carson Eggert. A starting lineup again for the Highlanders. 6'4", 6'3", 6'4", 6'2", 6'6". For Lisbon, a 5'9", 6'1", 5'8", 6'2", 5'11". But it's Lisbon with that second chance that are kind of cleaning the window a little bit here early. Cordero left wing three, Splash City. That shot is pretty. Cordero now has his second three of the contest. Lisbon with the lead, Highliners with the answer. Zach Sakura with his 23rd triple of the season. And both teams coming out back and forth in this one. 
Janin Bittner now to Lincoln Adair. Adair finds Cordero on this weaving action. Cordero to the paint, right-handed scoop, nearly got it to go. Lincoln tosses for it, and there will be a foul. Janin Bittner will pick up the foul after having position there with Zach Sikora. Second foul here for the Lisbon Broncos in this first quarter of play as the Highlanders will make a substitution. This coming in will be Jack Dieterle here for the Highlanders. Well, coming in for Valley City uh, for the Lisbon Broncos will be Ethan Gilbert, the 6'6 senior. So some size for some size coming off the bench for both of these clubs. Jason Clunzi's club leads by a point. Dieterle spinning his way, got it to go. Shooters roll. Jack Dieterle, a 6'7 sophomore, and it's a one-point game here for Valley City. Under Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard. Cordero leaves it to Lincoln Adair. Adair kicks it right-hand side to Jaden. Bittner goes behind the back. Jaden calling out the offense. Man pressure D for both teams throughout. Jaden hops, spinning, shot, tough one. Off the iron, no rebound here eventually. Won by Valley City's Heck, and Heck gets out of a double team. Heck up the other side of the floor. Bryson making his way. Bounce pass to Dieterle off the window. Can't get it. Dieterle put back. No, and a board underneath here for Lisbon. Ethan Gilbert will get the rebound. Lisbon, Jaden Bittner. Now to Cameron. Cordero rocking it through. Right to left cross. Jumper from 17. Ball gets tapped out to Bryson. Heck with his second board in as many moments. Left-handed side, Dieterle. Back to Heck, up top, this will go to Peterson. He'll rise, he'll shoot, shot off the iron rebound here to Cameron. Cordero with his first board of the game. Now it goes to Jaden Bittner. Bittner, right-handed side, nearly lost it. Gives it back to Cordero. Cordero looking for a teammate, finds one left-handed side to the Lisbon Broncos. Bittner, that's Jordan, back to Jaden. Jaden with a little hesitation move, finds Lincoln. Here's the rainbow three for Adair. That'll go long, but aboard to Bittner. Bittner, 15-footer, can't get it to go, and Dieterle corrals the miss. As both teams were coming out swinging, as now it's been missing a couple shots in the last two minutes of play. Heck, right-handed side, takes the ball screen by Dieterle. Heck with a runner from 15, got it to go. Bryson Heck, come cool and delivered. He's got eight. Highliners up by a possession here with the final 60 seconds of an entertaining first quarter. That's when it'll go to Bittner. Bittner rising, leaves it right hand side now to Jordan, now to Cordero. This to tie. Three, got it to go. When you're hot, you're hot. Cordero sizzling. He's got his third three in the quarter. Knotted at 14 apiece. Third tie, the first. Other side of the floor with it. Now it's Agert. Agert with the left baseline. Can't get it. Rebound here to Gilbert. And right now it's to Jaden Bittner. Lisbon can milk it for the final shot nearly of this quarter if they want. Cordero, right-handed side guarded there by Sikora. Leaves it now to Adair. Back to Cordero. Cordero ripping it. Gets it inside the paint. Cordero back up top to Bittner. Bittner with the drive. Block shot by Dieterle, but there's a foul. And it will be... A foul on the Highliners. Foul will come across on Jack Dieterle. His first team's first of the contest. That's just our third foul overall here of the quarter. And free throws upcoming for Jordan Bittner. Bittner to the line to shoot two. Right-handed toss is on the way, and this one will be off the iron. Second free throw attempt upcoming here for the Lisbon Broncos. Second one here for Lisbon. As Bittner toes the strike. Second free throw attempt is up and it's good. So Jordan Bittner gives the Lisbon Broncos a one point lead late here in this first quarter of play. As Lisbon makes a quick substitution, bringing on the game Hayden Inger, the 6 3. Freshman forward, Highliners though with five seconds. Heck makes a pass to Dieterle with three, gets the ball back, this to take the lead. Three-pointer off the backboard, and that's how we'll end our first quarter of play. After one quarter on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard, Lisbon leads it by a point. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Manage what you can to overcome what you cannot. 
Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119 or planterdoc.com. The Northern Kansas School District believes that every learner can change the world. That's why they provide a world-class education. Northern Kansas will commit to purposely build trust, develop authentic relationships, and engage in innovative practices which will empower learners to be choice ready. Northern Kansas is dedicated and passionate about relationships, teaching and learning, self-reflection, acknowledging greatness, and support of the community. For more information, go online to northerncanceschool.org. That's northerncanceschool.org. On our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard, sharing their heritage and their future with locations in North Dakota and Minnesota, go to dhbanknd.com. Lisbon, the sixth seed, leads the three-seeded Valley City Highliners, 15 to 14, nine points by Cordero, four threes in the first quarter for Lisbon, while Bryson Heck has eight points in Valley City with three main three-pointers in their own right. Ball to the top of the key, Heck, right-hand side, Sakura, interior, Dieterly, Dieterly muscling his way off the window, can't get it to go, and a board by Lincoln Adair. These two teams split in the regular season, and right now who's going to win that third and put the other season to bed, and the other one gets at least two more games here on the campaign. Cordero, left pocket, rainbow, three, why not? Cordero now with 12 for the 5'8 sophomore guard. Cordero right now is in the zone. Eggert, other side. Eggert making his way. Block shot, good hands by Gilbert to go straight up with it. Ball out of play. It will remain Highliner basketball. Jim McDaniel, the head coach for Valley City. Jason Kunze, the head coach here for the Lisbon Broncos. Highliners with Heck to inbound it. This one goes on the inside to Eggert. Eggert off the window, good for two. Carson Eggert with his first field goal. He's got three, and the Highliners are back within two. Cameron Cordero will come to the front court. Valley City so far with a six-man rotation. Lisbon with seven. Easton Bregeman leaves it now to Lincoln Adair. He'll rise, three-pointer short. Rebound tapped and eventually won. Here goes Adair, slips it on the inside of Bregeman. Back up top, Cordero wants another three. This one nearly got the shooter's roll and a board to Eggert. Good hustle play, though, by Ethan Gilbert to save that possession for Lisbon. Other side, Eggert weaving his way, goes behind the bass, bounce pass, eventually slips on the inside. Highlanders, tough shot from the baseline there by Talon Larson and a board to Lincoln Adair. So far, a difference in this one. Valley City hasn't had as many second chance opportunities as we have a timeout on the floor. We'll break with them. 6.33 left in the first half. First time ever, World of Outlaws at Norman County Raceway on Saturday, June 29th. Time on the floor brought to you in part by Bank North at iBankNorth.com. They take community to heart, helping the customers achieve their financial goals while improving the great rural communities that they serve. It's values-based banking. Go to iBankNorth.com, member FDIC, equal housing lenders. After the timeout for Coach Jason Kunze, Lisbon will have four remaining. Jaden Bittner with it now to the right-handed side to Cameron Cordero. Cordero left wing, Bittner able to save it eventually to Cordero. Sakura went for the steal, drive, kick, open it air, three-pointer on the way. This one will rattle in and out no good, and Sakura gets the loose ball. Other side of the floor, this goes to Heck. Heck will utilize it, top of the key, Sakura. Sakura looking for a teammate, finds it back up top to Eggert. Eggert will handle it here, flipping it on the interior to Dieterle. Lincoln Adair was trying to front Dieterle, got enough on the inside with no backside defense, and Dieterle now has four points off the bench for Coach McDaniel, and we're knotted at 18. Cordero, Cameron, crossing over, gets inside the paint, slips the pass to the right short corner, Adair, kick right-handed side. This one will go with Welter, three-pointer off the backboard, no, and Bryson Heck gets his third rebound. 
Highliners want to push in transition as they do to Sakura. Sakura, he'll rise, he'll shoot three pointer off the iron. Rebound, though, one on the inside for Valley City. And just as we said, the Highliners haven't had a lot of second chance opportunities. They get one there with the 6 6 senior in Talon Larson. Jane and Bittner now to Cordero. Cordero will utilize it here to Adair. Adair with a cradle rock. Right-handed side, rising. Bittner, three for the answer. Jane and Bittner with the triple. And for the Lisbon Broncos, they have seven field goals, six of them from the land of three. Ball will go left-handed side, double kick. Sakura wants a three, right wing long. Rebound here on the inside. Heck, turn around, Nola on the baby hook. And this will be wrapped up by Lincoln Adair. Lincoln with five rebounds so far for the Lisbon Broncos. Cordero, Cordero sees Sakura hit the deck, and there's going to be a foul here on Sakura. Sakura at six foot two against the 5'8 Cameron Cordero. And Zach will pick up the foul, his first, team's first of the second quarter, as we'll have Carver Peterson checking in the lineup here for Valley City. And Sakura will check out of the game. Valley City won't go too deep on the bench throughout this season. They really ride their starting five. You bring in Dieterle a little bit, and that's about it for the majority of their rotation throughout the season. Lisbon, Cordero, right-handed side as they will pop a pass now to Jordan Bittner. Bittner crossing over, driving kick. This one goes to Jaden Bittner. Three, Splash City! Jaden Bittner with another triple, and the Broncos have hit their 7-3 of the first half. Even with that, the Highlanders are only down by four. Ball goes on the interior. Valley City, tough shot from 10 feet, but got the shooter's roll to go. Talon Larson, four points in this second quarter. A free-flowing back-and-forth game here in this one before we get to our Cass County Mutual and Tope Insurance halftime show. Gilbert, bounce pass, Cordero. Cordero will handle it here. Look at Cam Cross. Nice little slip on the find. This one, a shot fake, shot fake. Adair and a block shot for Dieterle. Valley City goes to the other side of the floor with Agert. Agert to the 10 off the window. Can't get it to go. Board going to be eventually won here by Welter, his third. Welter will see it here now for the Lisbon Broncos. Welter, right-handed side, spinning his way now is Bittner. Jordan, looking for a teammate, finds one in Cordero. Cordero crossing over, utilizes left-handed side with the rock to Bittner, now to Adair. Adair hard inside the paint, slips it. This one, Welter got it up and in for two. Elliott Welter give the assist to Lincoln, and Elliott now has four. Unselfish Bronco passing so far here in this first half. Valley City left-handed side to Heck. Heck will handle it here. Adair trying to get on the interior in front there with Talon Larson. Ball goes around the horn. Here's the three-pointer by Eggert. No, long rebound, and here goes Cameron Cordero. Cordero on the front court. Bounce passes. This will be at the top of the key to Bittner. Driving kick, Adair right of the key. Lincoln will utilize the basketball. Right-handed side to Jordan. Bittner up top now to Cameron. Cordero. Crossing over, Cordero gets his way in the paint, spins, tries to step, left-handed shot blocked away by Valley City with Peterson. Peterson, that 6-4 frame, got the block shot, and the Highlanders got numbers. Peterson finds a trailing cutting. Here goes Agert, and Agert gets fouled on the floor. Lisbon will pick up their first foul of the second quarter. Foul will be assessed here on the Broncos. This will be on Jordan Bittner, his second, and a fresh 35 on the shot clock here for Valley City. Now their team again going deep into the bench. Seven player rotation so far for the Broncos. Six for Lisbon, uh, excuse me, six for Valley City. Dieter Lee posting up on the inside on the 5'11 Jordan Bittner. Ball gets skipped. Here goes Heck rising, shooting and scoring. Bryson Heck with his third triple. He's got 11. Back to a one point contest on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard. Here it goes, left handed side. This will be to the 5'11 sophomore Jordan. Now to Jaden, left pocket three. That'll go off the iron rebound here. Will be off the hands of Dieterle and give Lincoln Adair credit as he was trying to get that offensive board. Zach Sakura will come in now for Valley City. Lisbon trying to improve to 10 and 12 on the season with their 22nd game. Valley City trying to improve to 11 and 10 on the season with their 21st game. Has been two and two in their last four. Well, Valley City won four straight, then lost three straight to close out the regular season. Lincoln Adair lost his footing. Eventually, it will be a turnover. Other side of the floor goes Agert. Nice pass across the way. Agert put back. No, can't get it after a miss by Peterson. It's still loose with Sakura. Highliners with a chance to take the lead here. 
Ball gets skipped, right-handed side, Peterson, hard drive to the paint, leaves it off the pass. Good looking five, but just can't get it. And Larson then will get fouled, and the Highlanders will get the ball back. Now I see there was some point plank opportunities that have gone awry, but they still have the possession. Lincoln Adair will pick up the foul, his first and the team's second. As Wapiton awaits the winner of this contest tomorrow night, roughly at 7.30 here on yourliveevent.com. Larson in tier, and there's a foul. Elliot Welter will pick up the foul, his first, the team's third, and going to the free throw line here is Talon Larson, a 54% free throw shooter on the season. The Highlanders one and two from the charity stripe so far here in the opening half. Free throw attempt is up, and it's in, in a free-flowing opening first half of play that started just 20 minutes ago here from the Shield Center. Free throw attempt number two upcoming here for Talon Larson. This one is up and in as well. He's got six, and Valley City regains the lead now at 27-26 with 90 seconds to play here in this first half. Cord arrow. Top of the key, Cameron will utilize it here. Cameron, nice crow hop inside the paint, left-handed shot, can't get it to go. Rebound here to Carver, Peterson is fourth. Peterson with a full head of steam, finds a trailing Agert. Agert left-handed side to Heck, he'll rise, he'll shoot, three-pointer off the iron, no. Rebound here for Larson and Lincoln Adair, able to bat that one out of bounds. As we mentioned, Lisbon, seven three-pointers here in this one. Valley City so far, they've hit four, but it's the Highliners here in the last two minutes that have really hit the offensive window to get some opportunities at this one. And Sakura got his man up in the air enough, and Zach will head the free throw line. Sakura, 84% free throw shooter on the season, will head to the line to shoot two. Foul will come across the way here on Elliott Welter, his second, and the team's fourth here for the Lisbon Broncos of the quarter. Free throw opportunity is up and in for Zakora. Make sure you stay to, to our halftime show brought to you in part by Tump Insurance and Cass County Mutual. We'll take a look at what happened earlier in the day. Keep you apprised of other games going on here in Division A and Division B boys basketball. That and more still to come on our halftime show. Tied at 26. Uh, tied at, at 18 was the last set that we've had so far. And Valley City now takes a 29 to 26 lead here after a pair of Sakura free throws. Jaden Bittner finds Cordero, guarded there again by Peterson. Peterson sees Cameron driving kick now to Lincoln Adair. Back to Cordero. Cordero making his way. Jumper from the baseline. Can't get it to go. Backside board will come down to Talon Larson. Larson gets his third rebound of the contest. And for the Highliners with Peterson, they'll leave it right-handed side to Agar. Agar. Taking the ball screen here, Eggert making his way off the window, no rebound, Larson dribble, spin, shoot, and score. Talon Larson, eight points in the quarter and four rebounds here for the Highliners who take their largest lead of the game. Lisbon with Jaden Bittner. Bittner here, he'll rise from throughout 13 feet, can't get it, rebound, goes the other side for Valley City. Here with Carson Eggert, his fourth of the game. Eggert making his way, and there's a foul on Lisbon. This will be on... Bergman, his first, team's fifth, and two free throws here for Valley City will be with Carson Agert. So Agert will head to the free throw line to shoot the pair of free throws here. Valley City, that's going to be their fifth and sixth free throw of this second quarter. Free throw opportunity will go off the mark. Second free throw attempt upcoming in this 3-6 matchup. The boys matchup's the exact same as the girls in the quarterfinals, just seeds were a little bit different. Second free throw attempt, and we'll have a lane violation. Everybody had a different seed, but all three quarterfinal matchups were the same. Actually, we'll have a foul, not a lane violation, as Larson picks up the foul, his first, team second. Three seconds, two seconds. Jaden Bittner trying to get the shot up before the horn, able to do so, but that'll go short. That's how we'll end our first half of play. For the opening 16 minutes, it's Valley City up by five. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson, one of the owners here at TCI Insurance. We've been in business since 1985. We're based here in West Fargo and in Wimbledon, North Dakota. We work really hard to give our customers peace of mind and protect what's important to you. Check us out in our West Fargo location, right on the frontage road, across from Costco. Hi, I'm Stacy. We love working with our crop insurance clients. 
I'm Jessie. We have great options for crop hail insurance. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Check out our website at tciteam.com. Hi, I'm Molly. We bundle your home and auto. Hi, I'm Garrett. Let's visit about an umbrella policy. Hi, I'm Eric. Check out TCI for life and health insurance. Hello, I'm Leon. We can take care of all your farm insurance. Hi, I'm Bo. Think of TCI for all your commercial and business insurance. We look forward to working with you. Goose River Bank is here for the communities we serve, building relationships that last a lifetime. Serving the strong Red River Valley and beyond, we are your neighbors, friends, and family, committed to providing everything from everyday personal banking to loans for your farm or business. Visit one of our locations in Mayville, Hillsboro, or Hatton, or reach out and we'll happily come to you because it's the neighborly thing to do. Goose River Bank, strong bank, strong communities. High School Basketball here today on YourLiveEvent.com. Welcome to our halftime show, brought to you in part by Cass County Mutual and alongside Tope Insurance as well. Cass County Mutual provides the insurance products all of southeastern North Dakota. They're a local company providing local service to all their policyholders. Visit CassCountyMutual.com to find an agent near you. Chase Miller alongside Joey Hughes with you here on this Monday evening. The winner of this contest will go up against the Wapiton Huskies, Valley City 1-0 against Wapiton this season, while Lisbon is 0-1 against the Huskies. First half numbers go like this. Valley City with a 14-point first quarter, 17 points in the second, while Lisbon with 15 points in the first quarter and 11 points in the second eight minutes. Highliners 11 points with Bryce and Heck with three made threes and four rebounds. Heck again with 11 Talon Larson, eight points, four rebounds, two of two shooting from the free throw line. You also have five points for Zach Sakura with a made triple, four points for Jack Dieterle, and three points for Carson Eggert. Highlanders again led by Heck with 11 points. For the Lisbon Broncos so far, 12 points led by Cameron Cordero, four made threes, six points for Jaden Bittner with two threes, four points for Elliot Welter, four points for Jordan Bittner as well. Gilbert with three rebounds and Lincoln Adair with five boards in the game. For the Valley City Highlanders, again led by the 11 of Heck, while for Lisbon led by the 12 points of Cameron Cordero. When we come back after this on our halftime show, we'll take a look at what happened earlier today from the Shield Center. This is the Division A Region 1 Boys Basketball Tournament here on your liveevent.com. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated, so you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. Mission Court Independent Living at Benedictine Living Community offers independent living, giving you a comfortable lifestyle and freedom to do what you like while leaving chores behind. The monthly rent includes housekeeping, three daily meals, transportation, social and recreational programs, plus spiritual care and on-site worship services. Call 218-784-5250 to learn more and schedule a tour. And you can save $1,000 with our move-in special. Benedictine Living Community of Ada, recognized for quality care. Meet Blake, the messiest four-year-old on the planet. He's no ordinary durability tester. Meet Smart Strand, no ordinary carpet. With all pet protection, it's the softest, most durable, easiest to clean carpet on the planet. When Blake's barn got a comfy makeover, Smart Strand came clean, even went up against a two-ton rhino. Made to withstand all walks of life. Ask for Smart Strand, rhino tested, rhino approved. A 
available at Carpet World. CarpetWorldFargo.com. At Cass County Mutual Insurance Company, they provide services to homeowners, farm owners, tenants, seasonal dwellings, mobile homes, and farm and personal liability. Cass County Mutual Insurance provides local service to all policyholders and is working with clients in 19 counties in the southeast portion of North Dakota. For more information about Cass County Mutual Insurance Company or to find an agent closest to you, go online to CassCountyMutualInsuranceCompany.com and use their agent locator. High School Basketball continues here on YourLiveEvent.com, part of our halftime show, brought to you in part by Top Insurance. Get in touch with Ryan at Top Insurance in Castleton for a quote or review of your policies. Give Top Insurance a call at 701-347-4045. That's 701-347-4045. Out of town scoreboard in Region 2, Thompson over Hillsborough Central Valley, 76-60, to while Devils Lake takes care of Carrington, 142 semifinals tomorrow here on yourliveevent.com from the Louis Lee Fieldhouse. Grafton Thompson at 5.30. Four wins from the walk-in Devils Lake at 7. Joel Lancelo, James Martin's on the call for you on that one in Mayville. Region 3 out west, Stanley, South Prairie Max, and Deluxe Burlington all with uh, wins earlier today. That's the 1-4-2 and two seed. Region 4, Kildeer takes down Hazen and Shiloh Christian, 27 better than Shiloh. So far, the one seed of Beulah, the two of Shiloh, and the four seed of Kildeer all advance with Dickinson Trendy and Standing Rock coming up later tonight. In Class B Region 1 or Division B Region 1, Lamore, Litchell, Marion, Ellendale, and EKM all with wins over Hankinson, Burns County North, and Weimar Lidgewood, Sargent County, and with them, you also have um, Linton HMB uh, coming up next. District 2 looking to sweep uh, District 1 in the Region 1 tournament. And in Region 2, North Star over Warwick. Uh, Langdon area MR Munich takes down Nelson County and North Border over the Mayport CG Patriots. That again is in Region 2 with Midway Minto and New Rock for Cheyenne coming up a little bit later on. Earlier today here in Region 1, Cole Holzer went for 26 points as Central Cast top Northern Cast 65 to 49. Trey Huzar with 20 points in the loss for the Jags. Wapiton upended Fargo Oak Grove 63 to 46. Jaden King with 17 points in the win for Wapiton. So Kindred Central Cast tomorrow night at six. Wapiton against the winner of this contest tomorrow night at 7.30. That does it for our halftime show. Brought to you in part by Tulp Insurance and Cass County Mutual. Cass County Mutual, they're a local company providing local service to all their policy holders. Visit CassCountyMutual.com to find an agent near you. At the half, Highliners led by the 11 of Bryson Heck. Lisbon led by the 12 points of Cameron Cordero. We're back after this with second half action next inside the Shield Center. Since its beginning, the Central Cast Booster Club has generated and helped sustain fan interest in the men's and women's athletic programs at Central Cast High School. Through the years, that mission has brought in to also enhance the youth programs throughout the community. For more information, search Central Cast Booster Club on Facebook or email Central Cast Booster Club at gmail.com. That's Central Cast Booster Club at gmail.com. Go Squirrels! Central Cass School's mission is to foster student excellence in cooperation with family and community and to provide educational opportunities in a safe and caring environment. Thank you to everyone who has helped make this mission a reality. The STEM Center, Theater, Music Wing, Early Childhood Center, Wellness Center, and Athletic Complex will help set students up for success in school and life after graduation. They wish everyone at Central Cass good luck this year with academics and activities as you grow into the new space and move forward with excellence. Hey growers, when working on your water management solutions, call Chad's Excavating out of Mayville. They are your water management contractor, helping you with tile drainage plans, service drainage plans, or both. Remember, water management is a lifetime investment. Call Chad 701-430-0182 to get your water problem solved. For more information, follow Chad's Excavating on Facebook. For tile drainage and service plans, call 701-430-0182. Chad's Excavating out of Mayville, helping farmers grow. As much as you have accomplished, there are times you'd rather not go it alone. While you determine what direction you go, we're here to help along the way. So go. Go with community. Go with neighbors. 
Go with understanding. Go with support. As we get you ready here for this second half action, I'm Chase Miller alongside Joey Hughes. 16 minutes left in regulation. Winner punches their ticket to the semifinals upcoming tomorrow night. Loser has their season come to a close. Valley City Highlanders with some talent, obviously, with Jeff Boshi, Tyrone Terry with their Mr. Basketballs in the 1998 for Boshi, Terry in 2000. Some proud history. Lisbon with some state titles, two in their program history. Last made it to state in 2008. That's one block shot on the way on the rip through for the Broncos with Bittner after the block shot by Carson Hager. Valley City last made state when Tyrone Terry was a senior in the year 2000. So both teams, it's been a while. Broncos in 08, Valley City in 2000. Starting this second half, Lisbon with it. This will go Jordan Bittner, Nata Jaden, Cordero also with Lincoln Adair and Welter, their original starting five. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Bittner. Bittner making his way. Look at the left-handed skier, uh, the sky hook. Rebound comes down to Bryson Heck, his fifth board of the contest. Other side of the floor goes Bryson Heck with Sakura Eggert. You also have Talon Larson. And in the left pocket is Peterson, their original starting five. And here it goes to Peterson. Peterson to the baseline. Off the front iron and a board to Lincoln Adair, his sixth. Foul will be assessed on Valley City. As this one will be with Carver Peterson. His first team's first of the third quarter. And neither team has got out and hit from the other. It's been an immediate answer within a possession or two. Valley City largest lead the game here at five again at the intermission. Cordero. Top of the key, Cordero on the five-out drive kick. Right-handed side, here goes Jordan Bittner. Bittner back now to Welter. Welter right-handed side to Adair. Adair looking for a teammate, finds one in Welter. Welter with a couple hard dribbles to the paint. Right-handed scoop for two. Kind of a slow-looking move there for Elliott. Welter was looking to maybe kick it out, but all of a sudden came across the left block and said the rim's right there. Why don't I shoot it? And he gets two points. Heck, answer three. Yes, sir. Bryson Heck with his fourth made triple. He's got 14 points. And the Highliners lead it by six. Jordan Bittner here with it, now to Cordero. Cordero at the free throw line. Cordero lost his foot, he throws it up. Oh, he's a magician. Cordero lost his balance, threw it up and got it to go for two. Sakura right-handed side to the free throw line as this one will go to Heck, back to Sakura. Zach here will utilize it back to Sakura, uh, to Heck. Larson to Sakura on this triangle. 18 seconds, nearly a turnover. Heck goes hard down the paint. Floater can't get it. Rebound tapped out for eventually. Lincoln Adair will come up with it as Adair and the Lisbon Broncos now have a chance to make it a one position game. Lincoln, couple hard dribbles. Lincoln slips it now to Bittner. Jaden probing, looking, finding. Here goes his brother. Partially blocked shot on the way. Good hands by Peterson after blocking the ball there for Jordan Bittner and we'll have a reach and foul. Jaden Bittner will pick up his second, team's first in the third quarter. So you have Jaden Bittner, Elliot Welter, and Jordan Bittner with two fouls for Lisbon. For Valley City, everybody with either one or zero in that category. Highliners with Sakura, that's Zach. Back up top now as this will go to Bryson Heck to the right wing. Eggert crossing over to the free throw line, no look pass. Peterson will shoot the rainbow three off the iron, but a board here to Carson Eggert, his fifth of the contest. Sakura. Couple of hard dribbles, muscling his way, and this one is going to be an offensive foul. Zach Sikora will pick up the offensive foul. His second getting there was Jaden Bittner to see him run in, and that'll be a foul on the way on the Valley City Highliners. Valley City with their second foul of the quarter. Dribble pullback jumper for Lisbon, got it to go. Jen and Bittner now has eight. And for Lisbon, they are back within a possession. Slipping it, Bryson Heck, right-handed sign out of Sakura on the interior. Here goes Dieterle, make that Talon Larson, excuse me. Larson now in double digits with 10. Lisbon would utilize it here with Jaden Bittner. 
Bittner crossing over, goes behind the back. Bittner kick to Lincoln Adair. Adair gets walled off here on the baseline. Lincoln looking for a teammate, pops a pass. This one a 50-50 ball, eventually won by Lisbon. Bittner rising, 15-footer free throw line. Jordan Bittner now with six points. Valley City still leads it by two. Both teams, as we saw in the first quarter, trying to trade field goals here, and there's a foul. Talon Larson posting up, trying to get in front of him was Welter, but Elliott picks up his third in the team's second of the third quarter, and here comes the bigs. Jack Dieterle, the 6'7 sophomore for Valley City, enters, while Ethan Gilbert, the 6'6 senior center, will come in here on the opposite side for Lisbon. Highliners with Heck to inbound the basketball up top now to Dieterle, right hand inside to Peterson. Working with it now is Bryson. He'll shoot. Heck wants another three. Why not? Bryson Heck with his fifth made three-pointer of the game. He's got 17. He's made five threes here in this one. Other side going right to the 10. Jaden Bittner now in double digits with 10. Other side of the floor. Valley City left-handed side. Peterson, he'll want the three. Why not? Peterson with his 18th made triple of the season. And now Valley City has seven threes in the contest to match the Lisbon Broncos in that category. And they take a six point lead, tying their largest of the game. Other side, Peter Bittner will get fouled. And Jaden will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul will be on Heck, his first, team's third. Free throw opportunity on the way. This is gonna be good. Heck has made five of the seven three-pointers for Valley City, while Cordero has made four of the seven for Lisbon. Jaden Bittner free throw attempt. The Lisbon Broncos now two of three as a team from the free throw line. And they'll make them three out of four. Good looking shot there by Bittner. Lisbon right now trails it by four. Valley City in the front court. Carson Heck, Agert, right wing three-pointer off the lip of the rim. Dieterle corrals the offensive board. Dieterle kick out now. Three on the way and got another one. Carson Agert, as he's got six points and for Valley City, four of their five field goals here in this quarter from the three-point line. And I'll see a foul on Heck. Bryson will pick up his second. That'll be the team's fourth. And heading back to the free throw line is Jaden Bittner. So right now the Broncos are getting some twos and free throws, but Valley City is making threes and they're inching out a little bit more up by seven. Free throw opportunity rattling in and out. On our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard, sharing their heritage and their future with locations in North Dakota and Minnesota, go to dhbanknd.com. Bittner, free throw attempt number two is good. Agert, Heck, Dieterle on the floor with Larson and Sakura. Lisbon Broncos, Cordero playing up top with Jaden Bittner. Ball goes right-handed side to Agert, skips it to Sakura. Sakura ripping it through, gets inside off the window, no rebound by Larson, and there's a foul. Talon Larson with 10 points and five rebounds for the 6'6 senior. Foul will be assessed here on Ethan Gilbert. That'll be his first and the team's third. Free throw opportunities on the way for Larson. And Talon buries the first. Now with 11 points in the game and the Highliners, four players in this third quarter have scored. Led by the 17 of Heck. Free throw attempts, number two is short. Good box it on the interior here for Ethan Gilbert, his fourth. Lisbon right-handed side with Jaden Bittner. Bittner to the right-handed side with it, now to Bittner. That'll go to Jordan, back to Jaden. Jaden to the right short corner, gets the pass to Lincoln Adair. He'll shoot the left pocket, three, got it to go. Lincoln Adair with his first field goal of the game, and the Broncos are back within two possessions. A three-pointer for Lisbon, the first in this half. Right-handed side goes Agert. Carson crossing over. Agert, little shank and bake inside the paint, got the floater to go. Good looking move for Carson. He's got eight and a timeout for Coach Jim McDaniel. We'll break as well on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard.
Halftime, uh, our timeouts again brought to you in part by Bank North as we take a look at the Highliner bench. As they call the timeout with Coach Jim McDaniel, they'll have four remaining. Timeouts again brought to you in part by Bank North. Visit ibanknorth.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. It's values-based banking and a community partner that you can always count on. Congratulations goes out to Coach Jimmy Howard and the Valley City Highlanders as well for a tremendous run to the state tournament. Able to square off with the Devils like Firebirds nearly picked out the state champs in the semifinals. Bittner's shot can't get it. Rebound other side of the floor. Second crack at it. Cordero rising, shooting. Three-pointer no on a board to Bryson Heck is sixth of the contest. Other side, Sakor will utilize it here. Takes a couple of dribbles in the paint, lost it. Cordero trying to get the steal, he eventually does. Cameron trying to go coast to coast. Cameron left in a layup for two. Cordero now with 16 points on the game, and the Lisbon Broncos are back within four. Valley City in the front court to Eggert. Carson, right-handed side as this will go now to Heck. Left wing on the interior, Dieterle. Dieterle spinning his way and got it to go. Dieterle muscling his way for his sixth point of the contest. Jaden Bittner, right of the key. Bittner crossing over, driving kick now to Adair. Adair with a couple hard dribbles to the paint. Adair throwing it up, no. Rebound, put back, good for two. Ethan Gilbert now with two points and five rebounds as Lincoln went to drive. Two Valley City Highlanders came to help, and by the time they did, Ethan Gilbert easily got the offensive board. Highlanders now with Sakura. Sakura at the top of the key, crossing over, jumper from 13 gets fouled, and Zach will head to the free throw line. Zakora, a 85% free throw shooter now on the season, will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul will be on the Lisbon Broncos here, as this one will be charged to Cordero, his first and the team's fourth. Free throw attempt on the way for Zach. Gets the first, now with six points. The Highlanders from the free throw line so far, 7 of 11 from the stripe. Free throw attempt number two upcoming. As Sakura goes two for two from the free throw line, he has seven. The Highlanders lead it back by six. It's kind of been teetering between this four to six point margin since we've got to about the under four minute mark here of this second half. Bittner goes to the paint and draws a foul here on Agert. Bittner just kind of longs you to sleep, gets a little half foot in front. By the time he does, you, get, you commit the body foul, and Jaden Bittner will go to the free throw line for his fifth and sixth time here of the quarter. As the Highlanders again with their 10th, make that their fifth foul here in this quarter. Free throw attempt is up and in. Jaden Bittner, second free throw attempt here for Lisbon. Bittner can't get the shooter's roll on the second. Rebound comes down here to Carver Peterson, his fifth. Peterson to Sakura. Sakura spot him up, 13-footer, tickles a twine. Transition points for the Highlanders. They lead it by seven on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard. Left-handed side, Bittner. Jordan driving kick now to Adair. Adair finds a teammate here to Jaden. Jaden Bittner, and we'll see a foul here on the floor, and this one will be on Agert. That'll be his second. So Valley City will have two on Ager, two on Heck, and two on Sakura, and two free throws here for Jaden Bittner. Bittner with 14 points. Free throw attempt on the first one is good now with 15. Lisbon to make a substitution here with Easton Bergerman as Bergerman will check in for Jordan Bittner with 14.4 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Free throw by Bittner gets it to a two possession game. Free throw attempt number two is short. Rebound tapped out eventually here to Agert. Agert slows it up with seven. Agert top of the key with five. Agert crossing over, getting his way to the paint. Left-handed shot, no rebound. Lincoln Adair, Dare with the three quarters court shot and that's how we'll end our third quarter play. Lisbon wanted a little bit of a foul there on that one, nothing granted. It's a six point margin going to the fourth quarter. 
The Ringneck is the perfect stop for lunch or dinner in Leonard, North Dakota. They have a wide variety menu from burgers, wraps, steak, chicken, and seafood. For that small town family owned dining experience, check out the Ringneck today. To place an order ahead of time for takeout, call 701 645 2461. That's 701 645 2461. For more information and daily food specials, search the Ringneck on Facebook. That's the Ringneck in Leonard. My name is Tyler Zahn and I am a network assistant at ReadyTech. I graduated high school in 2019 and while I was there I got to take some great classes from Southeast Region Career and Tech Center. We're dedicated to really making sure that our students have the best IT services available and ReadyTech has really been a great partner in making that happen. Together we are opening doors for students in Southeast North Dakota just like they opened the doors for me. High school basketball here today on yourliveevent.com. Chase Miller alongside Joey Hughes with you, and this one has been a dandy so far between the Broncos and the Valley City Highlanders. Eight threes for both teams. Valley City been able to get to the free throw line 12 times so far. They've made nine of them. Lisbon got there 10 times, and they made six of them so far. Highliners lead it by six. Sakura off the side of the backboard, no. Rebound comes into the interior to Easton. Bergerman, and now all of a sudden you go to the other side. It will be here to Lincoln Adair. Adair right-handed side of Jordan Bittner. Bittner at the right wing, a little hesitation. Finds it, Bregeman will handle the basketball here. Bergerman, excuse me, not a Lincoln Adair. Right-handed side, it goes Jaden Bittner to Adair. Right pocket three on the way. Gets the shooter's roll. Lincoln Adair, now with six. The Broncos are back within one possession. Buckle up for the last seven minutes and change here the fourth quarter. Sakura looking for a teammate, finds one, Heck on the baseline. Heck ripping it through and there's a foul on the floor. Jordan Bittner will pick up his third and for coach Jason Kunze now, you have Jordan Bittner with three, Elliot Welter with three as well. Checking in will be Elliot Welter, Welter here for Easton Bergaman, Valley City. Up by a possession here late in this one. Win any advance, losing your season comes to a close. Agert on the inside, nice drawn up play. Peterson throws the pick. Agert gets a little bit of a lob. He's in double digits with 10 and becomes the third different highliner with 10 or more. Bittner driving left hand inside Welter. Welter leaves it now to Bittner. This will go to Jordan. Jordan finds it to Cordero. Cordero. Couple hard dribbles to the paint. Cordero off the mark. Rebound comes down to Sakura. Sakura the other side of the floor. And this one will be coming into nearly media row. And that's why they have these things with wheels now on them, so they can give a little bit. As Valley City will see a foul coming across here on Lisbon. Jaden Bittner will pick up his third. That will be the team's second here this fourth quarter. This one will go down to Carver Peterson, left handed side of Sakura. Sakura with a couple hard dribbles, finds it. Agert, he'll shoot the left wing three, can't get it to go. Rebound on the inside, put back good for two. Carver Peterson, five points and six rebounds. Jaden Bittner brings the ball in the front court, leaves it left of the key. Here's a three. Bittner off the front iron by Jordan, and a rebound here to Agert, his seventh of the game. Valley City trying to open up the game a little bit here, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Eggert will get called for the foul. Cameron Cordero got there, and Carson will pick up the player control foul, his third, and that'll be the team's first of this fourth quarter. So the Highliners match their largest lead of the game. It was 45 to 38 at the 258 mark in the third quarter. As now we've reached the six minute mark here in this Fourth quarter play, right-handed side, Cordero. Cordero looking for Lincoln Adair. Adair on the baseline. Lincoln looking for someone to cut here. Lincoln uses up the dribble, and there will be a timeout here for Jason Kunze. We'll break as well. 548 remaining here in the fourth quarter on your liveevent.com.
Say goodbye to boring birthday parties and corporate events and say hello to a supercharged celebration at the Empire Sports Complex in Fargo with their epic bounce houses that's guaranteed to have your guests jumping for joy at the Empire Sports Complex. Their bounce houses are the ultimate party starter, but don't wait too long to book. Go online now to empirefargo.org. That's empirefargo.org. Or call 701-318-4161 for your next birthday party or corporate event. The Empire Sports Complex in Fargo. Time on the floor brought to you in part by Bank North. At Bank North, they take community to heart, helping customers achieve their financial goals while supporting and improving the great rural communities that they serve. It's values-based banking. Go to ibanknorth.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Lisbon trails it by seven. They will handle it right-hand side to Jane and Bittner. Bounce pass on the interior. With it is Lincoln Adair, right-handed side now to Cameron Cordero. Cordero hanging, shooting, and there's a foul. Bryson Heck, looks like he'll get charged with the foul here. He will, that'll be his third, team's second, and two free throws on the way for Cordero. This will be his first free throw attempts of the game. Lisbon again, six of 10 so far from the free throw line. Free throw opportunity, number one on the way, gets it to go. Second free throw attempt upcoming here in a moment. Cordero now is 17 points in the game. Got it to a two possessions. Free throw attempt number two is rattling in and out. No, and a board here to Valley City with Peterson, his seventh of the game. Carver Peterson with it. Sakura, Sakura, shot fake, got his man up in the air, and this one will be a foul as Lincoln Adair was there alongside with him with Jordan Bittner. Foul will come across the way as this foul will be on Lincoln Adair. Going to make him earn it. That'll be his second, team's third, but... The man that you don't want shooting from a Lisbon perspective is Sakura. As again, 85% free throw shooter on the season. But he misses the first. And sometimes the old coaches will say, make him earn it at the free throw line. And Adair got up in the air and he knew he bit on the shot fake. So he said, you know what? You're not going to get the shot up, but you're going to get some free throws. And Sakura goes one of two from the line, and he's shooting right at his season average. Five of six from the stripe, but the Highlanders get it back to a three possession game. Bittner, that's Jaden, right-handed side, Cordero. Cordero rips it through. Cordero spins to the paint, off the window. Cordero, it was halfway down and rattled out. Peterson with his eighth board, and all of a sudden now for Valley City, you make a three here to try to get up on and one would make it a 10-point game, and instead an easy drive off the window for two for Carver Peterson. Jaden Bittner. Goes behind the back, crossing over. Bittner driving kick. This will go to Welter. Welter making his way to Lincoln Adair. Right pocket three. Broncos need it. Three-pointer, no. Rebound comes down on the way to Carson Eggert, who's not working on a double-double. Other side of the floor. Here goes Heck. Heck in transition. Drive, kick, baseline. Peterson, three. That'll go long. Rebound in the hands of Sakura. Sakura gets his fourth board of the contest. And Valley City and coach Jim McDaniel says, let's run an offensive set here in the half court. McDaniel to Sakura. Sakura with a little cradle rock. Gets his way to the free throw line, walled off. Trying to get by his defender. Peterson left baseline triple this time off the iron. Rebound tapped in a foul here on Valley City. Talon Larson will pick up the foul. His second, team's third. So both teams with three fouls here in the fourth quarter. Valley City with four timeouts. Lisbon has three, and the next jump ball will favor the Lisbon Broncos. Right-handed side, Cordero. Cordero back up top here to Welter. Welter looking for a cutting teammates. Leaves it now to Cameron. Cordero looking for the ball screen, takes it here. Cordero, nice ankle cross to the 10. Drive and kick, Adair, extra pass now to Bittner. Bittner leaves it to the right now to Cordero, who lost the basketball turnover on the Broncos. Left-handed side, Lisbon with the double. Here it goes now to Heck, and we'll see a shot clock. We'll need to get reset as it's to five seconds. So they will have to take probably about four to five seconds off of the clock, of this shot clock, and make sure they got everything good and ready to go. As they will take a look at it across the way here and put it to 30 seconds. That's for Valley City, slated to inbound it as they do into the backcourt. Highliners making their way with Ager to the paint shot, no. Rebound here eventually. One by Elliott Welter. And every time Valley City tries to get it to that two 
double-digit 10-point-plus lead. They just can't, and Cordero will make his way to the free throw line. And 17 points, two more free throws upcoming for the Broncos. Foul will be assessed on Valley City. Peterson will pick up his second team fourth of him here on out for Lisbon. They'll be in the bonus shooting at the free throw line as Lisbon so far is 7 of 12 from the charity stripe. Cordero, free throw attempt on the way, will be off the front iron. Highliners, those three pointers in the third quarter really neutralized what Lisbon did in the first quarter from beyond the arc. Second free throw attempt upcoming. Now their team here in this contest is led by double digits. Lisbon, though, misses the free throw. Rebound comes down eventually here for Peterson. Peterson, seven points and nine rebounds in his own right. This will go up top to Carver. Now to Socora. Socora working with it to Eggert. To Heck. Off the window, good for two. Bryson Heck with 19 points and has scored in every quarter. And there's your first double digit lead. Broncos will call a timeout. We'll break with them. 306 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Valley City 63, Lisbon 52 on our Dakota Heritage Bank scoreboard. At Enbridge, we believe sustainability is the foundation of our success. How well we perform as a steward of our environment, a safe operator of essential energy infrastructure, a good neighbor, and a diverse employer defines our success. Learn more about Enbridge's environmental, social, and governance commitments and our Indigenous Reconciliation Plan at Enbridge.com. For a top-notch car wash experience, head to Fast Lane Car Wash, situated next to the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo. They treat every vehicle with the same respect and care as their own, ensuring that your car is in good hands from pre-wash preparation to hand-dry finish. Check out the Fast Lane Car Wash on the west side of the Petro Stopping Center in Fargo and spruce up your ride with interior detailing, buff, and wax at the Fast Lane with Thomas weekdays from 9 to 2. Call 701-799-8226 to schedule an appointment. Coming up, we'll get to our post-game report, brought to you in part by the Petro Stopping Centers. Petro Stopping Centers located just off 45th Street and I-94 in Fargo. Valley City, again, leads it by double digits and a timeout for Coach Jason Kunze. They will have two remaining here for the Lisbon Broncos, and Lisbon now will have to continue to be really efficient on the offensive side of the floor. Bittner rising three-pointer. Well, that works. Jen and Bittner now with his third three. He's got 18. The Broncos have made 10 from beyond the arc and back within single digits. Left-handed side goes Heck. Heck ripping it through. This one at the top. Left-handed side, that'll go to Sakura. Sakura to the baseline to Peterson. On the skip now to Heck. Heck, hard dribbles to the paint. Lincoln and Eric got a little bit on the swat. This one goes to Jane and Bittner. Bittner to Cordero. Cordero with the basketball at the left of the key. Cordero making his way, a block shot by Eggert out of bounds. Next field goal, this could really determine the rest of the outcome. Lisbon would get it back to a two possession game. If Valley City gets it, well all of a sudden it's ballooned to four possessions here. This will go right handed side, Bittner, that goes Jordan. Leaves it left handed side to Jaden, he'll shoot left pocket, three, tickles the twine. Jaden Bittner with back to back triples after the timeout by Coach Kunze and the Broncos are back within five. Heck to Eggert. Eggert will handle it here. And there's gonna be a foul on the floor. This one will be on Jaden. That will be his last one to give. That'll be also the last foul that Lisbon has to give before it's the bonus. Lisbon by no stretch do you need to chase the game, continue to play straight up. Eggert off the window though. Nice little cut, and Valley City Highlanders have been really efficient on the baseline inbounds plays, getting a lot of looks inside the paint so far for Valley City. Bittner crossing over. This is going to be a turnover. Peterson will work with it the, in the front court. Here comes a double. Ball in the black court. It's going to be not deflected or touch. It will be over and back, and the Highlanders will utilize a turnover. So the Broncos get the stop here and a field goal to get it back to a two-possession game. And both teams have four fouls. Valley City, four timeouts. Lisbon with two. 
Jaden Bittner, top of the key, takes the screen. Sakura switches it now to Cordero. Cordero will utilize it here, top of the key. Crossing over, gets walled off here at the free throw line. Coming off that stagger is going to be Jaden Bittner. He'll shoot a tough shot. Rebound comes down to Valley City here with Carson Agert. Agert with his ninth board of the game. Heck, right wing back to Agert. Agert will utilize it here on the pass to Sakura. Sakura at the right wing, 75 seconds in regulation. This one goes to Heck. Heck making his way, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Taking the charge for the second time tonight is Cordero. Heck will pick up the foul, his fourth, and Lisbon again gets the defensive stand they needed, but now they must score with 70 seconds remaining. How many more possessions are you going to get? Broncos down by seven. Jaden Bittner bounces it to Cordero. Cordero, little shake and bake move, nearly lost it. It's on the deck. Sakura tips it out to Agert. Other side of the floor, Agert finds it to Heck. Little alley for the two. Agert with the assist. Heck's got 21. Lisbon left handed side. And there's going to be a block shot on the way by Agert. Heck will utilize it to the front court. And Sakura, and there's going to be a foul. Now Lisbon will have to start playing the possession game. As the Valley City Highliners, we'll see the Lisbon Broncos start fouling now, and it will be two free throws. As going to the line will be Sakura. Foul will come across here on the Lisbon Broncos. Lincoln Adair, his third. And free throws upcoming here for Sakura. Free throw is in and out, no good. Sakura, second free throw attempt. He's got 10. Free throw attempt. Upcoming here for Valley City. This one will be up and in. So Sakura now has 11. Lisbon goes to the other side of the floor as they will handle it. Down by 10. Cameron Cordero block shot here for Valley City with Carver Peterson. Again, the length of the Highliners. Front court, 6'4", 6'3", 6'4", 6'2", 6'6", is Altered shots, block shots here against this driving, cutting, attacking Lisbon team. Bittner, three-pointer, left wing short. Rebound here for Lincoln Adair down to a knee. Gives it back to Bittner, up and in for two. Jordan Bittner now has eight time onto the floor with 19.8 seconds remaining here on your live event.com. Let the geeks at GK Technology help you with your agricultural data. Their agronomists know agriculture. When it comes to creating soils and zone maps to maximize yields in your fields, you can trust the people with decades of experience in site-specific agriculture. Everyone at GK Technology has a background in agriculture, so they know what makes a farm run, and they speak your language. The geeks at GK Technology have a map and an app for that. Time on the floor brought to you in part by Bank North, Valley City 68, Lisbon 60. Lisbon takes their second to last timeout here in regulation, trailing it by eight. Next jump ball does favor Lisbon, so try to get a steal, a jump quickly. And if you can't do that, got a foul. Highliners, give it to Sakura. Sakura, here comes the double. Sakura nearly getting the jump ball. Instead, this will go to Heck up the floor. Heck right wing. Heck bounce pass. This one, Larson block shot for Lincoln and Air. Other side goes Bittner and he travels with the basketball. So the Highliners will utilize it here with 6.5 seconds remaining. Valley City will see it with Heck to inbound it. All that the Highliners need to do just inbound the basketball to Agert. Agert up and Lincoln and Air, and there's going to be a foul. Lincoln will pick up the fourth, and for Valley City. They will head to the free throw line here with Carson Agert. He's got 12 points, one of four from the free throw line, nine rebounds. Free throw attempt on the way will be upcoming. Free throw attempt is up, and it's good. So Carson Agert now with 13 points. Free throw attempt number two here for the Highliners. It is good as well. And the Valley City Highliners will pick up the victory here tonight in this one. Bittner's half-court shot off the front iron, and we'll get to our Petro Stopping Center's post-game show. Valley City Wapiton will be coming up tomorrow night. Lisbon finishes the season 9-13. Post-game is after this. There's more at 104. Hillsboro, North Dakota has everything you want in a hometown. 
business opportunities, great jobs, and a top-notch school. Shovel-ready lots for your next idea, great jobs in manufacturing, healthcare, and agriculture, an excellent education for your kids with small class sizes and lots of school spirit, plus easy access to I-29 and the conveniences of North Dakota's largest cities. Build your future in Hillsboro and see why there's more at 104. When it comes to your next outdoor project, let the team at Turf Tamers take care of you. Turf Tamers provides the professional services and is your one-stop shop for turning your dirt yard into a beautiful oasis. When you choose Turf Tamers, you can trust that your outdoor spaces are in the hands of skilled professionals who truly care about creating beautiful landscapes. For a quote or more information, go online to TurfTamersFargo.com. That's TurfTamersFargo.com. As we come back on our post-game show here for the Valley City Highlanders, joining us is Bryson Heck, the 6'3 junior, able to finish with 21 points here in this one and five made three-pointers. Bryson, let's just talk about the land of three. You guys hit eight tonight for the Lisbon Broncos. They hit 11. What was working particularly, though, in that third quarter, you know, off the off the halftime and it seemed like yourself alongside with Carson, uh, Carver all hit threes there early on that opening four minutes. Yeah, well, we were. I made we made some threes right away, and then we kind of went on a cold spell, so we had to rely on our inside game, and we couldn't get we couldn't finish too well right away. But later in the game, we kept we started finishing most of our like putbacks, and and we started to hit some threes again. But yeah, I think just crash and then like. So like hustling and that works for us. What uh, what does it mean for this squad here to pick up you know the 11th win on the season, able to get to the semifinals? You got two more games at least you know this week. What does it mean to get one step closer to your ultimate goal? Yeah, it's it's definitely good for us since we now we get two for sure games. We just need to fix a, fix a few things for tomorrow, play a little harder and a little smarter at the same time. Our shot our shots will come. Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time. So what did you like from Carson Ager's performance? Nearly had a double double today. Just a calm. Cool, steady senior. What what does he kind of provide to the team? Oh, uh, he's he's super he's super springy. He can he can jump from pretty much anywhere on the court, and it's it's amazing to see him jump. And he can shoot too, so teams can't just run him off the three point line because then he'll just take you to the rim. And he's a, he's fantastic to watch. And on top of that too, Zach Sikor goes to the free throw line there in the second half. Uh, when someone like Zach hits the free throw line, what's going through your mind? Because it seems like he he barely misses throughout the season. Yeah, he he doesn't miss uh, free throws too often. So when when teams are putting him on the line, that's a that's definitely a setback for them because he, he definitely doesn't miss those very much. Final thing for you, Bryce, and moving forward here, what's going to be a challenge tomorrow? What's something that you want to see from your team right off the opening tap against the Huskies tomorrow night? Uh, staying in front of our guys on defense. We kind of struggled a little bit because we got, got a few fouls and we, we didn't want to we didn't want to foul. So just staying in front of our guys so our uh, – other guys don't have to get in help for the, their shooters to end up wide open for threes. Bryson, congratulations on the win and best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you. We'll continue after this here on your live event. Hunter Insurance Agency is a locally owned full service agency providing protection and coverage in a number of different areas. Hunter Insurance Agency offers multi peril crop insurance, crop hail insurance, and farm insurance for buildings and equipment. Plus, they offer home, auto, life, and business insurance. For more information, go online to HunterInsuranceAgency.com or stop in and speak with Johnny Jorgensen at Hunter Insurance Agency. Find them at 109 Main Street in Hunter. The Jacobson Red Angus Annual Bull Sale, Thursday, March 21st at the ranch near Hitterdahl, Minnesota. New exciting genetics, 65 of the region's highest quality Red Angus bulls, 20 elite registered heifers, and five replacement bred heifers. The sale broadcast on DV Auction. Request a catalog today. Email gjrangus at feltontel.net or call 701-361-3189. Jacobson Red Angus and Partners Rivers Edge Cattle Company, Prairie Red Angus Annual Bull Sale, Thursday, March 21st. Visit jacobsonredangus.com. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we've remained true to these values for generations. 
They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North. Always true. As we come back and continue on our Petro Stopping Centers post-game show, Petro Stopping Centers, your one-stop travel hub here on YourLiveEvent.com. Let them roll out the VIP treatment and also get a feast fit for a king. Love that chicken from Popeyes to a juicy cheesesteak or a mouth-watering Cinnabon. If you're feeling extra a little bit, you can check out some Papa John's Pizza or also the glorious Dolly Down restaurant all going on again at the Petro Stopping Center located uh, 45th Street and I-94 here in Fargo. For the Valley City Highlanders, 14 points in the first quarter, 17 points in the second. From there, 23 points in the third, and they would wrap up with 16 points in the fourth quarter. While for the Lisbon Broncos, 15 points in the first, 11 points in the second, 22 points in the third quarter, and they would have 12 points in the fourth quarter here for the Lisbon Broncos. Individual numbers will come up after we take a look at the team numbers. Highlanders, we just had them down for four turnovers. Six players in the scoring column. They hit eight threes, and they go 13 of 18 from the free throw line here for Valley City. They start adding up some rebounds, and they did a really good job on the boards after that opening four and a half minutes where Lisbon just kept fighting and kept getting second chance rebounds. We had Valley City down for 30 five boards for the Lisbon Broncos six players in the scoring column as well six turnovers seven of 14 from the free throw line 11 triples here today for the Lisbon Broncos and uh, for Lisbon here in this one uh, they would finish with 25 rebounds here in their own right individually Jane and Bittner with 21 points Bentner goes 5 of 8 from the free throw line with four made threes for Jaden in his final game here for Lisbon. 17 points for Cordero. Cordero with four threes in the first half of play, 17 points in this one. From there, the six points of uh, Jordan Bittner. Bittner with eight points with a made triple. You had six points as well for Lincoln Adair. Six points, nine boards with two threes. Six points for Elliot Welter with four rebounds. And Ethan Gilbert would finish with two points as well for the Lisbon Broncos. Final time for the seniors that will be playing here for Lisbon. And Jaden Bittner, Ethan Schwab, Easton Bergaman, Wyatt Olson, and also Ethan Gilbert and Sam Kelson again in their final game here for the Lisbon Broncos. Lisbon goes 9-13 and 13 on this season. Well, for the Valley City Highlanders, they improve to 11-10. and 10, And Valley City, with the victory here by 10, will play the Wapits and Huskies uh, tomorrow in the semifinal. So Kindred Central Castle in one semifinal at 6, with Wapits and Valley City in the second semifinal at 7.30. We'll continue on our Petro Stopping Center's most game showing. Recap what happened earlier today. Get to our Artic Enterprises feature precision. Play the contest, that and more here on your live event. As a farmer, I have thousands of more mouths to feed than the average person. What fuels me to get the job done? The smell of the soil and the hum of the combine. What fuels my equipment? Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster, a premium diesel fuel for the most challenging conditions, better than any formula yet, delivering maximum uptime every time. Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster, fueled by innovation, powered to perform. For farm fuel and lubricants, call Rob at Pearly Community Co-op, 218-861-6802. Hungry and on the road, Petro Stopping Center in Fargo has got your back. With an impressive lineup of goodies, including Popeye's Chicken, Charlie's Cheesesteaks, Cinnabon, Papa John's, and a mouth-watering full-sized restaurant, the Dolly Down Grill, you'll be spoiled for choice. Whether you're a quick pit stopper or looking to settle in for a while, Petro Stopping Center's Fargo location has got you covered 24-7 every day of the week. Cruise on over to their spot just off 45th Street and I-94 and indulge in a feast fit for the road warrior in you. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon, North Dakota is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon. 
Red River Valley Speedway. May through August. For more details, visit RedRiverValleySpeedway.com. This is your livelihood, and success requires a seed partner that's just as committed as you are. Just like you, we're farmers first, so our values are rooted just as deep, and our goals are just as strong. Our team is ready to hit your fields. So no matter what each growing season brings, we'll get through it together. It's who we are. Thunderseed, first in the field. As we come back on our Petro Stopping Center's post game show, let's get to our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game. Go to Enbridge.com for career opportunities. Life takes energy. That is Enbridge.com for career opportunities. And Bryce, uh, Bryson Heck again, 21.6 rebounds. Five made threes here in this one for the 6'3 junior guard. Bryson Heck is our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game here in this one. Then you had the balanced scoring of Carson Agert with 14, uh, Zach Sikora with 11, and also Talon Larson with 11 points as well here for the Valley City Highlanders is Valley City with Bryson Heck is our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game. Our Artie Counterparts feature precision play the contest and uh, for Valley City it was the three-point line in terms of what they were able to do with it in the third quarter. They hit four threes in the third quarter and really turned the tables after Lisbon was able to hit four threes in the first quarter and when Valley City did that they played with the advantage got up 34-28. to 28. Lisbon never held the lead in the second half after Valley City was up by five and uh, Lisbon kept on coming, kept on pushing, kept on coming, but uh, Valley City just found ways to, to get the second chance rebounds or more importantly, uh, find ways to hit some free throws late in the contest as well. That is our Artic Enterprises feature precision play of the contest. Islanders uh, played a lead wire to wire in the second half after Lisbon had a one point lead after eight minutes of play. This is our Petro Stopping Center again post game show here. Taking a look at some other final numbers across the state of North Dakota we bid before we bid adieu here tonight. So in this one, you have Central Cass, Wapiton, Valley City, all pickup wins. Central Cass will again play Kindred later on. That will be at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Coverage gets underway at 5.30 here on yourliveevent.com. And then from there, we will have Wapiton, Valley City. So the one seed, the four seed, the two seed, and the three seed here all advancing again to the semifinals in the Division A Region B basketball tournament. From there... Thompson, Devils Lake, the three and the four advance. We will have those games tomorrow in Region 2. Grafton, Thompson at 5, 34 wins. Been a walk in against Devils Lake. That'll be at 7 here on YourLiveEvent.com. Region 3, Stanley, South Prairie Max, Delax, Burlington, and Botno, 1 through 4 all advance. Stanley against South Prairie Max in one semifinal, then Delax, Burlington against Botno in another semifinal. And then Region 4, Kildeer, the four seed, Shiloh, the two seed, and Standing Rock upsets Dickinson Trinity, the six against the three. That is a final as well. So Region 4 will have the one seed of Beulah, the team that earned a bye going up against Kildeer. Shiloh Christian against Standing Rock will also be tomorrow night in the semifinals. In Division B, it has all gone final in the Region 2 tournament. North Star over Warwick, Langdon area and Mar Munich defeats Nelson County. North Border over Mayport CG and Iraq for Cheyenne over Midway Minto in Region 2. And in Region 1 right now, Sargent County leads it by three over Linton HMB with two and a half minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. If they're able to win, they'll be the only District 1 team making it uh, to the semifinals after Lamore Litchell Mary knocked off Hankinson, Ellen Dole over Barnes County North, and EKM over Weimar Lidgewood. So that, again, does it for our broadcast here tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in to our Petro Stopping Center's postgame show, and thanks so much for tuning in to our broadcast throughout the week. we still got more basketball coming up here on Tuesday and Thursday on the North Dakota side. Then we'll have the Region 1, Region 2 tournaments with the state qualifiers, the four uh, from the east, the 2A, the 2B starting at 1 o'clock. That'll be on Saturday. And Minnesota gets into a flurry of section semifinals on Wednesday. Girls 
championships on Friday. We'll have Section 6A, 8A, and 8AA all on yourliveevent.com. And the boys really get going in earnest as well later in the week on Thursday and Saturday. On behalf of Joey Hughes, I'm Chase Miller. Thanks so much for tuning into our post-game show. And join us tomorrow night starting at 530 for our first of two semifinals. Kindred Central Cass followed by Wapiton and Valley City. That's next here on yourliveevent.com tomorrow night from the Shield Center.